So in the film, Benedict Cumberbatch, <coughs> please, he, he plays Turing as really rather like socially awkward. And I'm just wondering, was Turing really like that? He was, you know, he was a little, he was a, yeah, it was a math whiz, so he had his own idiosyncrasies. Um, they toned down his stuttering. Uh, uh, they, and I think they, again, they were trying to make a character that fit in some way the stereotypes of uh, what we expect this mathematician to be. That know. is a stereotype, because we see stereotype. this character in films of the brilliant right. savant all the time. I mean, how, how accurate is how accurate would you say that is? I mean, is it as prevalent as we, as fiction would lead us to believe? How maladjusted are the both of you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not a genius like he was, so I can't really talk. But I, I, I think, you know, it, it, you don't have to be a socially awkward and uh, introvert to be, to be a, a good scientist. I mean, there, there's this, there's this thing. It's a rather recent. Um, sort of um, terminology called twice exceptional and it's for children who are highly gifted highly intelligent to the level of genius but they're also have some sort of um, deficit either a learning disability or um, Asperger's or you know problems with social skills or obsessive compulsive disorder and that's why they're twice exceptional they're sort of at the far end of the spectrum on both these um, things but that the prevalence is about you know like maybe three three hundred to three hundred fifty thousand people in the U.S. and maybe like one in six people who are gifted have also some kind of disability in that respect or social skills problems. But I think a lot of these geniuses, so to speak, are are that way despite having these disabilities. Like I don't think it's inherent in being super smart that you have to be socially awkward. Or, um, but they, they are, despite having, we all have certain, you know, in the general population, there's psychiatric problems and there's things like autism and Asperger's, and it doesn't necessarily have to correlate with being highly intelligent. Um, so I definitely think it is a stereotype. Although, that being said, a lot of people um, who are Asperger's, which they used to call like high-functioning autism, uh, and who have social skills problems, tend to be really gifted in things like engineering and things that involve a lot of rational thought. So they tend to go into those fields. Yeah. I think Alan Turing specifically, um, I think what, I, I don't think his intelligence was necessarily the source of his um, social mm -hmm. awkward, socially awkward behavior. But I think his focus and his drive, it was, you know, when he, 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 when he went in, into something, he was single-minded the determined, and that's another tra trait of a, especially in theoretical mathematics and theoretical computer science, um, you need that focus, you need that. It's almost drive. like an obsession, like yeah. you become, like I think as an academic, I'm a little like obsessive about things. I mean, you need to be, to be able to study that amount of detail and spend hours, you know, doing research or writing about something. So there is a bit of that obsessive kind of personality, which could mean, you know, at the expense of a social life. Right, and, and I think, theoretical work that, well, you know, there's the scientist who goes into a lab and has to do his lab work, you know, and the experiments, and thing. but mathematicians or theoretical computer science or any scientist who's uh, really working on something theoretical is really just facing this problem on a piece of paper. But you guys, I would say that yeah. that kind of uh, obsessive focus applies to any kind of success. I'm not a scientist, but I'm, yeah. can be obsessively focused on, on my own work, you know, I think, yeah. I think anybody who's highly driven and, yeah. and really focused on a goal can, you know, it's not just exclusive to scientists. Yeah. We're all maladjusted. <laughs> <laughs> Any successful person. That's why. That must be why we're successful. <laughs>